Welcome to my channel, Simple Engineering, Engineering Simplified. I am Neetu Rahu. Today we are going to discuss about block diagram in control system. Before that, if you are watching my channel for the first time, please subscribe and support me. We will be updating with more videos every alternate days. So don't miss our notification. For that, just click the bell button. Let's move to the video. So, our discussion is about block diagram. So, first we will learn what is block, block diagram and all. So, block diagram means it is a pictorial representation. In a picture form, we are representing the functions that is performed by each component and there should be a flow of signals. The basic elements of the block diagram are blocks. We have blocks in that, then transfer function of the elements inside that blocks, summing points, takeoff points and arrows will be there. So block means in a block diagram all system variables that are linked to each other, all the variables that are linked with each other through this functional blocks. So this is the block, we are having an input and output all the functional, all the variables that are linked through this block. So functional block or we can simply say that this is a block is the symbol for mathematical operation on the input to the block that produces the output. So we have input and output. This input that and a block is there that will produce the output. So this block can be a symbol for the mathematical operation. So I will show you uh, how this will work. So block means usually we represent the block like this. We are having an output and an input over here. So this is the block and we will represent the transfer function inside this block. So this can be a block. Like that you have different blocks. So that is connected together. So example, this can be a block. This is G1 of S and this is G2 of S. That is the transfer functions are represented like this. G1, G2, like that, etc. Let's move back to the PPT. So block, already we told block, it is a simple block or a functional block. Next is the summing point. So blocks are used to identify many types of mathematical operations we told. And summing point means the operations of addition and subtraction that are represented by a circle that is called summing points. So different uh, types of summing points are there that is summing point they have one or several input maybe one input are there two input are there like that. So each input has its own appropriate plus or uh, minus sign. Well, let's we can see how the summing point will work. So summing point means summing point that will be represented like this. So if you are having one input, so like this you can represent the summing point. So this will be the input and this will be the output like that. So if you are taking x, you will get y. Then another summing point, you are having two inputs. One is represented as x1, another is represented as x2. So this can be positive and this can be negative or either it can be depending upon the sign it will vary. So this is positive and this is positive or uh, positive and negative like that uh, different things will be there. So this is the uh, summing point. So let's go back. So summing point. Each input has its own appropriate plus or minus sign. Next is elements in block diagram. So we already discussed we have functional block 
that is the element of the practical system where it is represented by a block within its transfer function transfer function is inside represented inside the block next is branches that is line showing the connection between the blocks so from each blocks you have a connection and that is represented by the line which is called as branches next is arrow that is associated with each branch to indicate the direction of the flow of signal so from which uh, block to or from which branch to uh, which branch it is going in order to indicate the direction of the flow of that signal we use arrows over there then if you are using a closed loop system we have some point which we discussed uh, just uh, before that is comparing the different signals then take off points that is point from which signal is taken for the feedback so if we take this block diagram we have several advantages and disadvantages for that so advantages means it is very simple to construct the block diagram even if the system is very much complicated we can easily construct a block diagram of that then function of individual element can be visualized so each individual element you can visualize over there because we are representing it as blocks next individual and overall performance can be studied so we can take the individual performance of the block or the overall element overall performance we can study from the block diagram so overall transfer function can be calculated easily so if everything everything is represented as a block and in transfer function is uh, represented inside that we can easily uh, calculate the transfer function using this block diagram next is the disadvantages because uh, no information about physical construction how it is physically constructed there is no information about that and the source of energy is also not shown in Uh, block diagram so this is the advantages and disadvantages of the block diagram so just we can see a simple form of closed loop system so this is the closed loop system we have g of s and h of s g of s this is the transfer function h of s this is the feedback session you have error detection or a summing point then input is represented as r of s and from the summing point you have e of s which is given as input to the g of s your final output is c of s that is fed back to the uh, input section through feedback and that uh, feedback is given to the summing point where it is equal to b of s so r of s is the laplace of reference input that is your r of t c of s means the output c of t laplace of output c of t e of s is the error signal e of t laplace of e of t is e of s then you have a feedback signal that is b of t laplace of b of t is b of s and g of s is the forward path transfer function and h of s is the feedback path transfer function so this is about block just the introduction to the block diagram in uh, next classes we will be discussing about uh, block diagram reduction techniques and all so uh, this is for today so just watch my video uh, we will be uh, updating all the details about in the uh, coming videos so please uh, like and subscribe my channel thank you and please support me